I want to practice drawing more bugs. This is the book that Bai Bun is doing for her book club for this month, for July, I think. It is July, I think. Yeah. She went on and on about, on Patreon, she went on and on about how yucky it is. And that that's the kindest word I can say from what she was saying. <laughs> and it's, it's, it sounds gross. So I'm not even going to read it, but I'm going for the, um, pictures and there's a lot of bugs in here which is one of the yucky things there's a great beetle um there is great ladybugs great flies uh let's see oh ants a bee Great bees. And they're like a sketchy, a snail, which is in the crack. So I'm going to see if I can do something with that. I'm not a drawer. But I'm thinking, can I make bugs? Oh, here's the mushrooms I was looking for, I think. Mushrooms. They're very fanciful and very simply drawn. But she said the book is, she didn't like the book. <laughs> but, oh, and a frog, a great frog. So I got out a bunch of green scraps here that I've made from different things. There's an alligator from a children's book. Paint. Procreate. Watercolors. So we're just going to make some bugs and maybe put them in some of the stuff I've done in the last couple days and see what they look like. Like a great bug on this background would be fun. I had to take a voiceover yesterday because uh, Bella was in the room and I'm not doing children and all that that entails. This is the one. This did not look so bad the next day, but this would be great with bugs, I think. And Bella is not here because she ended up having to go home last night at 11 o'clock because she was a bad child. So... Let's draw bugs. I'm going to fast forward now. Bugs. Bug bodies. Let's see if I can do a beetle. Or whatever the bug is. Pretty easy segmented. And this is still a form of collage. I'm cutting out pieces of paper and gluing them to other pieces of paper. Right? Right. So, I got all my greens going here, and I'm going to try to cut and do some beetles. Now, I did a book, a journal, a while back, a couple months ago, with bugs. I was at the beach, so it was over the winter at some point. But, you know, ideas come to you when you're doing this and that's why I keep doing this. There are days when I'm like, really, really, I don't know what to do. I don't want to do anything. I'm uninspired, especially when I don't have a project. That's why I always do projects because if I don't have a project, I just can't sit here and doodle because I lose my self and I lose for the entire day. I mean, if I don't start out every morning at some point in the morning doing something in an art journal of some kind or another, I am incomplete for the rest of the day. And I guess that's what you call therapy, right? Right. So this is very expensive therapy. It's much che much cheaper to go to therapist. But this is a whole lot more fun. And I don't have any flaws. Well, yeah, I do. I still do have flaws here. But um, it wouldn't be as bad as what a therapist would tell me. Lady, you are crazy. The bugs in the paper never tell me I'm crazy. They all say, oh, paint us, paint us. I don't know. So anyhow, I'm just having fun with bugs and cutting up green and, you know, this is the first day. The first day, um, because the idea of a journal came to me while I'm doing this. And the evolution of an art journal, this is how it happens. You play and you play and you kind of get thoughts from other people and you get inspiration from other people and you go after a color or you go after a design or 
a book. This the drawings in this book are really pretty. The book apparently is creepy, very creepy, um, and lots of bugs and dead bodies. So you can imagine, ugh, like forensic science, ugh, yuck. So um, we're gonna make it more fun. But there's gorgeous um, flowers and leaves and jungly bits and cute little people. We might even have some of these people show up. I don't know. Um, cute little characters. And it's drawn very easily. So it's something that I can um, achieve. Possibly. Possibly. Now, the first bug is not perfect, but that's okay. They don't have to be perfect. They're not real bugs. FYI, don't tell anybody else that, though, okay? Okay. Don't tell anybody these aren't real bugs. Um, but as I'm doing the legs, a thought started coming into my head. I'm like, oh, this could be fun. This could be fun. This gives me an idea. So I think I'm just going to make weird backgrounds. Maybe use some of the backgrounds I already have. And go forward in this art journal, um, which is a Strathmore mixed media. But... Again, by Bunch influenced me to buy this because she, this is the kind she likes. It takes a lot of medium for the price, and the pages can lie flat. So you can do a spread across two pages. The fold is less problematic than in other places. So that's what I'm going to do. So I might make some wacky backgrounds and come up with some wacky bugs, and then it just started evolving in my head. Um, and I like my bugs to be a tad metallic-y metallic because nature is gorgeous and has all the iridescent colors on it and in it. So, yeah, metallic pens. Yum. Love these pens. Where did I get these pens? I think on Amazon, but they are very cheap. Very cheap. So, anyhow, yeah, this book came. It's it's creepy, apparently, but um, I'm not going to use it for what it was intended. I'm going to use it for a bug study. Well, I'm not. You'll see. You'll see. Keep listening. Keep watching. I'm having the hardest time with white pens these days. These are Signo Uniballs, and I don't have good luck with that. That's a Posca pen, and at times it works better than others, but I have the hardest time with white pens. Um, I do better with white paint. <sighs> but my, my, um, this is where the idea started coming into my head about what I want to do next. And... It wasn't until here. You just keep going. You keep making little marks. You keep making little pieces of paper. And then the idea popped in my head. Oh, yes. Okay, remember when I said that I like to tell stories? <laughs> Sometimes you're sitting here and all this stuff starts churning through your head. And... You really had fun doing the stories about the bugs a couple months ago. I don't remember exactly when. But there's a lot of videos where the bugs went on a trip to San Francisco. These are the animals and the bugs. Anna, bugs. Mostly bugs. That Michael Palin found. We found can you believe it? We found his journal of the animals he saw on his trip. Mostly bugs. He must be a bug man. This one was found under some mushrooms in Magadon on day 19. It's called a King Green Blob. It's bug number seven. NP means not poisonous, perhaps. But <laughs> now this is all with a grain of salt and very, very, very humorous. And not to be picking on anybody. But if you do this, KGB is in Russia, Magadon. <laughs> fun stuff, fun stuff. Found it some mushrooms. Just purely, purely fun. But he is a green and blue bug with beady eyes under the mushrooms. And this could be fun. <laughs> this gives me something to do. I've kind of been floundering because I didn't know what I wanted to do next. And I've done so much. Do I want to do another travel journal? I don't know. What do I want to do? We're going to do Michael Palin's bug journal that we found. Woohoo!
Anyhow, love it. Michael Palin must have had paints with him on his trip, don't you think? Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow with another bug.